It's new tenant, you're now tuned in to Nolazine TV. Yeah, click on the other line that was your bitch, Mike Vick. Niggas know I pin a dog with the shit. How the fuck? You gon' put a poodle up with a pit. I'm the shit. All I know is hoopers and them convicts. I've been getting to this bread. I'm just getting to this money. I ain't laughing, ain't shit funny. I've been sleeping on the floor. I've been going door to door. Don't touch your profit, let it grow. Don't smoke your profit, let it show. I'm smoking broccoli for sure. They sell like gas, like Texas. Cool. Tired of fucking with these And when you start making music? Um, I've been messing with it a little bit since I was like, I was messing with it since I got hurt, really. And then I started getting serious with it after like I went to school a little two years or whatever. And then, um, yeah, my, my roommates was like, they wanted me to take it serious. I was like, when I go home, I just take it serious and I drop down and shit, yeah. So what were you doing before you started uh, making music? Hmm? What were you doing before you started making music? I was in school a little while, but that shit ain't work. What's something that your fans should know about you that you don't put on your social media? Uh, I'm very loyal, very loyal, uh, uh, really genuine, uh, uh, and I expect that from my friends. That's why I don't have too many. Uh, I'm thorough, so I can't, you know what I'm saying, I can't, uh, I got a small circle. And if you could, to a potential fan, how would you describe your music in one word? One? Uh, one word. Uh, authentic. That's good, I like that. All right, so what upcoming projects do you have? Um, I just dropped my tape, the cook up D A space C O O K space U P the cook up on iTunes, Spotify, uh title, everything. Nuke ten N O O K one zero. You go get that it's gonna come up. Uh yeah, I just dropped that uh last Monday on the twenty sixth. Uh I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna drop a few videos or something like that. And then uh Probably drop a little EP out of that, like three, four songs. Feed the streets. Yeah. That's, that's, that's like real fresh. That's yeah. fantastic. Are there any features on it? I got one feature. Uh, shout out to my nigga Diego. <laughs> he lays uh, he lays me with a dude out of Florida. He played football at Utah a little bit, and then he went back home and shit. So yeah, he picked up with the rap. I'm picking up with the rap. So Diego was like, yeah. He might as well. Just, he got a little flow. He, had a, he the last song. I got eight songs on that. He the last song. He did his thing. Fuck with it, yeah. I had to keep it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, growing up, or like when you got into music, who would you say you were influenced by? Uh, Meek Mill, my idol, that's number one. Yeah? Yeah, that's, that's like my influence to rap. And then probably Nas, Meek, uh, ASAP Rocky, because he's different. Yes, absolutely. Because he's different, but he's still original, like, kind of on that, like, uh, who else? Rocky. Wayne, of course, of course, Wayne. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, a few more people. Uh, so, if you have any advice that you would give to an up upcoming artist that's trying to make the name, what would it be? Say it again. Like, what would your advice be to an upcoming artist that's trying to make their name or get their name out there? Man, you gotta take this shit serious. You can't. I ain't gonna lie, like. I was trying to work with a nine to five and doing this. I mean, you can't do that. Like, you gotta get that bag and you gotta put it all in there. Like, you can't get the bag and then go to the mall and then go ahead and spend on your lady and go do all this and do all that. You gotta put that in the studio. You gotta put that in music videos. You gotta copyright your music. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? I think that's good advice. You just do the right things with your money. Cause, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no millionaire, but I'm putting it where it's supposed to be at. And I believe in myself, so I know it's gonna come back, period. Do you have any advice to artists on how to move as far as safety wise? Because I mean, you, you, you yeah. become big and then you gotta yeah. watch out for yourself. Yeah, I was talking to my people about that shit. Uh, and then I just dropped this tape. Uh, it blew up out of town a little bit, but it's gonna pick up here a little bit. You just gotta get used to me. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I was known for ball. I played ball in high school. So for me coming off with this rapping, like, like, you know what I'm saying? I gotta drop a little bit more videos, visuals, and you know, people just gotta get a little bit more intimate or whatever. Plus, I'm different, so it's not really like, I don't know. But 
think I think I'm gonna catch people eventually. I'm gonna just keep stomping on people's neck. It is what it is. I'm gonna keep dropping. They gonna be like, I had to see me one day. For them. Do you think the local radio stations and DJs can do a better job helping break artists out of your city? Yeah, I heard y'all say this question before. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, of course, of course they can help. Yeah, of course, they can. Of course, uh, boy said that shit. Uh, who said that? Uh, they just play an hour once a week. Absolutely. Who did say that? Uh, might might have been Styles or something. Yeah. No, yeah. it was uh, uh, Nino Calvin. That's what that boy said. He said play, like play. It was Calvin or Styles, one of them. Yeah. Yeah, he said play that shit for an hour, you know, and. Yeah, once a week, just once a week. Yeah, exactly. Week. Yeah, exactly. Just one hour, two hours, play local music, that's it. And then yeah, whoever, yeah. and then let the people say who the best is, and then whoever is the nicest, whoever getting the most plays, keep running his song. Mm -hmm. Or keep, you know what I'm saying, get right. somebody to pop. They ain't got nobody to sit right now. Right, right. They playing the same thing on radio. Right, right? exactly. <laughs> um, all right, so you just talk about making your bread and putting it to like good spots, you know, like to further influence you. Yeah. So what's the first thing you will purchase or invest in when you when your label cuts your checks? Uh if I was to if I was to sign to labels, mm -hmm. it'd be the first mm -hmm. thing I yeah. invest in uh a house, a home. A house and home? Yeah. Something that holds, you know, value. Something that Absolutely. you know, you can't can't lose value with a house. Right. Can't go wrong with that, so you want it out. All right, within the next year, where do you see your music career? Uh, I don't know. Because it is today, December 1st, so. Really I, I, I ain't going to lie. I see me dropping like two or three tapes, and it's going to be over with. Because yeah. I'm going to drop visuals in between and doing this and doing this. I already been traveling in Atlanta for a little while. I've been meeting with different artists. And I ain't going to drop no names, but I've been meeting with different artists and doing different things. And the producer and engineer I work with, he got plugged, so. Uh, it's gonna be a matter of time. You gotta keep promoting, keep keep pushing, keep pushing. You know, that's it. All right. What made you get into the music industry? Uh, <clears throat> well, I had to, I had to leave a little while. I was getting into trouble and shit, and I was about to, I was about to, you know. So I was, I had, I was either going, I was either going. I had to make a choice. There you go. I had to make a choice, and I had to make a choice, and I made one. So I'm out of rap. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a good choice. There you go. You feel like that's a good choice? Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> Legal money. Well, I mean, I'm just like asking, like, you happy with your choices? You know, yeah. Yeah. music. A lot of people into into music, you know. So. All right. What have you learned about the downside of the music industry? What do what what do people not see? Like. Because the music industry, like, you know, people, it looks people like a think, highlight, you know? People think, people think this music is so easy. Like, they think they only got to spend $200, $300, and they think they're going to really pop. They think they're going to really make it out one song. Like, they like they baby or something. And baby still had to drop two or three tapes before he, you know what I'm saying? My dog's on the third or fourth tape, so. Mm -hmm. You just got to, you just got to be willing to put you just can't be willing to give up off, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the time, it's the process, it's going to be a work, it's going to be like a grind, you know what I'm saying? You can't just, if you believe in yourself, believe in yourself, go with it. If you don't, you don't. Don't start. I had to I had to drop a few songs for it to see if I need to fuck with it. Once I seen my partners was reacting to it and seeing how people was listening to it and see the reaction I was getting, I was like, I right, don't mean no sense to stop if I'm that good, you know what I'm saying? My name is Nuke Ten N O O K One Zero. You can find me on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, Deezer, Amazon, everywhere. Um, the Cook Up, available A song, one feature, all me. Uh, 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 authentic, all me. Uh, Paired from the muscle. We got some coming later. Visuals coming in a week or two. I ain't gonna say nothing, but yeah, you working? You working? Trying to get my golden pussy so I can retire. Just come on, help me get this TV set. Yeah, yeah. Where the fuck you get this cart from? I think it's working all right. Yeah, okay. You run over my corn. I'm putting my foot up your ass. You see how good it works. I told you to get that pedicure. It's pedicure, bitch. Yeah, click on the other line. That was your bitch, Mike Vick. Niggas know I pin a dog with the shit. How the fuck you gon' 
put a poodle up with a pit. I'm the shit. All I know is hoopers and them convicts. I've been getting to this bread. I'm just getting to this money. I ain't laughing, ain't shit funny. I've been sleeping on the floor. I've been going door to door. Don't touch your profit, let it go. Don't smoke your profit, let it show. I'm smoking broccoli for sure. They sell like gas like Texaco. Tired of fucking with these hoes. I can't do this shit no more. I just need me one down, bitch. Pretty slim brown bitch. One that's going to keep me grounded. You to bring my yeah in the crib to mom's found it yeah bitch we bought it whole squad verified nigga look you in your eyes i can tell you terrified bitch ass whole nigga never could flow nigga hit the studio engineer tell you go home nigga never follow flows i just learn to be my own nigga yeah i'm feeling like whole mixed with the old jigger niggas talking all these shots ain't talking about no liquor try to take his own shot just to cry me out the picture i got a magazine for every Every fucking issue with ya Niggas talking stupid, we gon' have to come and get ya Stop been poppin', they won't miss ya They got ammo like militia Wait, wait Yeah, click On the other line, that was your bitch Mike Vick Niggas know I pin a dog with the shit How the fuck? You gon' put a poodle up with a pit I'm the shit All I know is hoopers and them convicts I been getting to this bread I'm just getting to this money I ain't laughing, ain't shit funny I been sleeping on the floor I been going door to door Don't touch your profit, let it go Don't smoke your profit, let it show I'm smoking broccoli for show I'm just boiling with the gang Free my niggas out the chains I ain't fucking with no lanes Fufu niggas, fuck the game What you rapping, what you bang On that car what you slang? People catch you, you gon' say I ain't have a fucking thing. A real nigga, I remain. You can't really say the same. I ain't never fucking changed. Niggas hating early morning, we gon' call him Charlemagne. Pull your piece, you better bang. Pull your piece, you better bang. Got it locked like what it rings, nigga.